guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Taisha, and on today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing slash doing a wear test slash doing a flashback test on the new Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Powder. I'm so excited to try this. If you guys do not know, my favorite foundation is the Huda Beauty Full Filter Foundation. I love this foundation, so when she came out with a powder, I needed it, and I'm gonna be trying everything out on my face today and just seeing if it's actually worth the $34 because this is a little bit pricey in my opinion, so I really want to see if it's actually worth the money or not. So if you guys are interested on this video, then make sure you guys keep on watching. But before I let you guys go, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so you guys are notified every time I upload a new video. But now you guys, without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into it. Alright you guys, so I went ahead and zoomed the camera in. We're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start by priming my face with some Fenty Beauty Primer. I really like this primer. It just smooths my skin. It just makes everything go on top really nicely. Alright you guys, so once we have that on our face, I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Powder. I picked out the shade in Blondie. Let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, this is such pretty packaging. That's how it opens up and it says the baking made easy so it gives you the steps on what to do and this is what the packaging looks like. This reminds me a lot of the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. That's one of my favorites and it's only $5. So I'm going to go ahead and really quickly read to you guys the description of this product. Okay, so this is an easy to use loose powder, perfectly created for all skin tones to create an airbrush, long lasting complexion, blur the appearance of pores and fine lines. We're about to see that if it's true and hold makeup in place all day long. So pretty much this is claiming to be like the perfect loose powder. So we're gonna really see if it's actually true. So I'm pretty much gonna use my damp beauty blender and apply some of this powder to set my primer really quickly. And yeah, this has a scent. This has a perfume scent. Exactly, not exactly, but this reminds me of the smell of the foundation. All right, so once we have this on our face, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my favorite foundation ever, which is the Huda Beauty Full Fertile Foundation. And this is in the shade Tres Leches 320G. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this really quickly. And to do that, I'm using a Sigma F80 brush. All right, so once we have that done, I'm gonna be using my Tarte Shape Concealer in the shade Medium. We're doing full coverage today, you guys. Why not? We're going all the way in today. Okay, and then of course, I'm gonna blend it with my Damp Beauty Blender. All right, so once we have our concealer on, I'm gonna go ahead and bake with the Huda Beauty Easy Bake, what is this called, loose powder. Um, it does come with instructions or like a little guide on the back, and it also comes in it with the box, so in case you throw the box away, you can still see it here. So it says, dip dense brush or beauty sponge into powder net, pack a generous layer, ugh, I can't even read. Pack a generous layer under the eye from corners through temples. Teaspoon, uh, you guys, I cannot read. Teaspoon, outer corners of the mouth and the chin. Okay, so we're gonna do that step. That took me a while to read. So she says, pack a generous amount. Oh, so you just literally, this is a nice, okay. So I guess just like that, and let's see. And she says to pack. I did not buy the brush because honestly, that brush was like, what, $34 I think? I don't know, you guys. I was just not about to spend a lot of money on a brush. And you can just use your sponge, which is technically like the way I usually always bake. And <coughs> this gets in your mouth and the smell, whew, you guys, a little bit strong. And then under the eye, the T-zone. Oh my God, I have my eyebrows done. You guys, the struggle of not having eyebrows and drawing them in before your makeup, it's real, especially when you're putting powder on. Uh, okay, I guess just like that. Outer corners of the mouth and the chin. And then second step, let powder bake for three to five minutes while applying the rest of your makeup. And then that's when you use a fluffy brush to gently dust away excess powder. So let me go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some bronzer. I'm using the Hula bronzer. And my bronzer is going really smooth on my skin, which I like. And I really like this shade in Blondie. It's like a yellow undertone, which I love for my skin tone. So if you guys have close to my skin tone, I feel like you're really going to like this one. Alright, so I feel like it's been already like three minutes. I don't really like keeping my powder for too long. 
Ooh, this is blending out so smooth. But honestly, you guys, my first impressions on this powder is that everything looks really smooth. It does kind of blur your skin. It really does. And it just makes me look really matte, which I love. So, so far, so good. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup. I know they did say to leave it on while doing the rest of your makeup, but that's not the way I do my makeup. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. And then I should be right back to do the flashback test. Alright you guys, so my makeup is done. If you guys want to know what I'm wearing for the rest of my makeup, make sure you guys check the description box below. But anyways, you guys, back to the powder. Honestly, you guys, everything looks amazing. I went ahead and took a flashback photo. I'll go ahead and insert it right here for you guys. There is no flashback at all. My makeup looks amazing. My pores and everything you guys looks so smooth i do have to agree with the claims um i don't know about the long wear effect we're gonna test that out right now but so far honestly you guys i really like this powder the only thing i don't like so far is the smell i don't like the smell i don't mind the foundation since it's not near my mouth like i'm just applying it but since it's loose powder some of it can get in your mouth just do not talk and if you cannot stand really strong smell then don't get this powder so so far it is 12 26 as you guys can see right there i'm gonna go ahead and wear this for a couple of hours um and see what happens let's see if it can oxidize what happens so yeah you guys i'm gonna go ahead and wear this for a couple of hours and then i should be right back to give you guys my final opinion on the huda beauty easy bake loose pack. all right you guys so i am back it is 6 44 as you guys can see right there it's been like about six hours and honestly you guys my makeup looks amazing especially under my eyes and pretty much everywhere i put powder on my face it looks amazing the foundation is coming up a little bit right here on my brows but other than that you guys my makeup does not look cakey at all and my under eyes look so smooth sometimes when i wear my makeup for a long period of time right here it starts getting like cakey and you can see my little like pores right here i guess you can say and honestly you guys my like just overall everything looks so good and this honestly does blur your pores i don't know how i don't know why but this works you guys i really like this powder so far yeah i really like it you guys i the only thing i do not like at all is the smell because since it's a loose powder it just gets in your mouth so that's the only thing i don't like but yeah you guys i feel like that's pretty much all i have to say and also i wanted to add a little note because i know in the beginning of this video i look really orange and really yellow it's because this is my first time filming with this backdrop so i don't really know how the lighting i'm supposed to keep it but now i learned you guys so i'm sorry about that thank you for everybody who still watched this video all the way to the end and cares enough to hear my opinion let me know other products you guys want me to try out i also wanted to add another note saying thank you for everybody who watched my last video and left me a bunch of stuff to try out i have so many foundations to try out and i'm super excited I already ordered the Becca foundation and the concealer, so that should be up soon in my channel. And what else? And I also saw a lot of people want me to try out the new Dior foundation, Ju A, I have Makeup Forever. I just have a lot of things to try out. So thank you for everybody's recommendations. But that's pretty much all for this video. This is definitely worth the money and worth the hype and i really like the shade blondie but anyways you guys i'm gonna go ahead and let you all go thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys are having a wonderful day or night wherever you're watching this and i should see you guys on my next one bye guys